Hi, I'm Archana and today I'll be walking you through a new AWS Marketplace launch for reselling professional services. In this video, we'll cover an overview of professional services and CPPO on AWS Marketplace, how to create a CPPO for professional services, relevant use cases, and then we'll wrap up with a recap of the demo. Let's look at an overview of professional services. AWS Professional Services was launched in 2021 to help customers find and procure professional services from trusted providers to help manage third-party software running in AWS or to build on AWS. We've seen AWS Marketplace Professional Services as a mechanism for ISVs to sell implementation or support services for their products and consulting and channel partners to sell assessments, implementations, or manage services. As sellers continue to grow their channels and bring new channel partners on board, they wanna enable these partners to resell their professional services. To meet that need, AWS Marketplace recently announced the launch of reselling of AWS Marketplace professional services through Channel Partner Private Offer, CPPO, to enable both ISVs, consulting partners, and channel partners to resell professional services through AWS Marketplace. As such, in this video, we'll use the term professional services sellers and resellers to acknowledge that we are discussing reselling professional services, and it can be a consulting partner, channel partner, or an ISV that's able to resell. Now let's look at some top categories that we see for professional services. The first one here is assessments. This includes evaluation of operating environment to find the right software solution, typically provided by channel or consulting partners. Implementation, here sellers can help with configuration, setup, and deployment of third-party software or AWS native services. Premium support, this includes guidance and support from ISVs or channel or consulting partners on proprietary or third-party software. Training can include tailored workshops, programs, and educational tools provided by experts to help employees learn best practices. Let's dive deeper into how the feature works. Why resell professional services? Customers turn to AWS Marketplace to quickly find, procure, and deploy new solutions that accelerate their digital transformation. AWS Marketplace provides customers with convenience, streamlined procurement, and speed to value for both software and professional services purchases. However, the current channel partner private offer feature only supports software resale, which is not an ideal experience for both sellers and buyers. As sellers continue to grow their channels and bring new partners on board, they want to enable these channel partners to resell their professional services. And when buyers are unable to procure professional services from their preferred partners on AWS Marketplace, they have to purchase the professional services directly from the service providers, leading them to negotiate with several providers creating a suboptimal experience as they potentially may have to purchase part of the solution on AWS Marketplace and rest maybe professional services outside. This new feature provides the opportunity for customers to pur purchase professional services through their preferred partners and for AWS Marketplace sellers to expand their reach of end customers to sell professional services and expand the professional services offered to end customers. Now let's walk through all of the resale motions sellers can utilize and some example use cases associated with them. The first motion is an ISV to CP resale motion. An example use case of this motion is an ISV authorizing a channel partner or a consulting partner to sell its premium professional services then the consulting partner reselling those services to end customers. The next motion is a CP to a ISV resell motion. An example use case of this motion is a CP authorizing an ISV to sell their implementation services. Then CP deploys and configures the ISV's product for the end customer. 
Next is a CP to CP resell motion. An example use case of this motion is a CP authorizing another CP to subcontract professional services as part of large migration project. Next is an ISV to ISV resell motion. An example here is an ISV authorizing another ISV with a product integration to resell support services for the end customers. Let's walk through the end-to-end -end CPPO transactions and workflow. First, the AWS Marketplace seller, an ISV or CP, creates a resale authorization for the AWS Marketplace Professional Services reseller. After the offer has been published, the buyer will receive a notification with the relevant offer details and a link to accept the offer. The notification will be sent to the email address associated with the buyer's AWS account ID. Buyers will also be able to view the offer in the private offers page in AWS Marketplace Console. Once the buyer accepts the offer, it's time to deliver these services to the customer. With invoice and payments, the customer will pay AWS based on the payment schedule identified, and AWS will pay the ISV and channel partner for the wholesale cost and margin. AWS Marketplace sellers can choose either a daily or monthly disbursement cadence based on their disbursement preferences. Let's walk through how an ISV can authorize a consulting or a channel partner to resell implementation services. As an ISV, you can log into your AWS Marketplace management portal and navigate to the Partners tab. Once you're in the Partners tab, you'll see a list of all the opportunities that have been created previously. You'll see if the opportunities are active and the created date for these opportunities. And you can see some additional information about the product name and the product IDs as well. If you'd like to create a new opportunity, click on Create Opportunity button. This will open up a form that will allow us to create a brand new opportunity for the ISV that can be targeted to a reseller. In this case, I'm creating an opportunity for a reseller to resell professional services. At the top, I can enter the opportunity name and then enter the opportunity description. And then I can select if this is a renewal of an existing opportunity or it's a net new opportunity. In this case, I'm going to select it's a net new opportunity. And then I can select a list of resellers that I want to target the opportunity to. I can either type the name of the reseller or the account ID. In this case, I'm going to type the name of the reseller. And the discount types that are applicable for professional services are the individual pricing and the flexible payment schedule. For the purpose of this video, I'm selecting individual pricing. And then I can select the product that I'd like to provide the pricing for. I can select the standard contract, which sets a 12 month contract duration, or I can select the custom duration. In this case, I'm selecting a custom duration for six months. And then this allows me to provide the pricing that I'm setting as a seller for the reseller. And that could be an ISV or a consulting partner or a channel partner. I can select the opportunity length. It could either be a single use specific time duration or no set time duration. In this case, I'm going to select a no set time duration. I have the ability to add the buyers as part of the resale authorization creation process, add the buyer information as part of the uh, private offer creation process, and then attach a EULA for this resale authorization. I'd like to include a reseller contract. Next up, and I can review the opportunity that I've just created. 
this provides me an option to review all the information that I've provided. before I create the opportunity. With that, I have successfully created a resale opportunity as an ISV consulting or channel partner. Let's walk through how to create a channel partner private offer for AWS Marketplace Professional Services sellers. As a reseller, you can log into AWS Marketplace Management Portal in order to create a channel partner private offer. Once you're on the home page, click on private offers. Brings you to the page that has a list of all the private offers that have been created previously. To create a net new channel partner private offer, click on create an offer button. You can select the seller that has enabled the resale authorization. You can select the product from the seller. You can either scroll down here or look for the offer. Select the opportunity that is tied to this product. And then accept the contract terms from the reseller and then add the list of buyers that you would like to target this offer to. In this case, I'm targeting one buyer. And in case you need to enable flexible payment schedule, you can click on this option here and then select next. As a reseller, you have the ability to mark up a percentage based on the price that has been set by the seller. In this case, I'm marking up by 10%. That adds the markup to the price that was set by the seller. And then I can select an offer expiration date by when the buyer has to accept this offer. and then click review offer. This brings us to a page that has a list of all the details that have been entered so far. You have the ability to review these details before clicking on create offer. Finally, let's walk through how a customer will accept a channel partner private offer for professional services. Once a channel partner private offer has been created successfully, the buyer will receive an email notification that has all the details of the offer that they are accepting, provides them the name of the seller, the product name, and the offer details. They can log into AWS Marketplace to accept the offer. As a buyer, you can log into your AWS Marketplace console in order to accept the channel partner private offer. Once you log in and pull up the private offer, you can review all the details that has the contract duration, the start and end date, and the pricing. You can review the agreement and review the total contract price before creating the contract. Let's go through a quick recap of what we covered in the demo. AWS Marketplace sellers can create resale authorization for other ISVs, channel, and consulting partners. To create the resale authorization, you can log into AWS Marketplace Management Portal and navigate to Partners tab. Be prepared with opportunity details like specific reseller details, discount types, service to authorize for resale, opportunity duration, buyer account ID, and legal terms. Sellers can review the opportunity and select create opportunity button if everything looks good. This will now show up as an active opportunity in your partners tab. To create the CPPO, resellers can navigate to AMP to the offers tab to create an offer. CP will see resale authorization created by the ISV in the opportunities received section. 
the reseller can include up to 24 AWS account IDs to send the offer to. And the reseller can include details such as time duration, payment schedule, statement of work, and offer expiration date. After these details are submitted, the reseller can review the offer and extend the offer to the end customer. Thank you for your time. Hope this was helpful. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to the email address on the screen.